Good morning, everybody. I am up and at them this morning, just uh, having me a cup of Cog Hill coffee with my boys on the porch. And I decided I would check out Marketplace where used things are often sold. I've had good luck in the past finding things. So I gave it a browse this morning and guess what I found? A refrigerator. So Jason's fixing to come over here and I'm gonna show him what I found. Jason, Yo. I just found the perfect refrigerator for our barn. At least I think it is. Um, it's on Marketplace and guess what? What? It's here in Clanton. So we don't have to drive two hours. Well, I, I sent the lady a message already <laughs> before I asked you if you thought it was okay, but I, she gave me her phone number, so I'm fixing to call her okay. and um, make sure, you know, everything's good with it. But my thinking is I'm going to go up to the egg stand uh -huh. and see how much money we've collected uh -huh. over the last, you know, couple of days selling uh -huh. produce and eggs, tomatoes and eggs, I uh -huh. should say. And uh, see if it won't be enough to cover this $150 refrigerator. That would be awesome. It would be. But first things first, let me give you a call. Okay. Yes, ma'am. This is Brooke, and uh, you just gave me your phone number to call you about the refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So it's your mother's. Okay. And it's in good condition. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That would be great. Okay. Perfect. Well, let me talk to my husband and see what he says, and... Um, I'll give you a call back here shortly. Yes. Okay, that works for me. Thank you so much. Okay, so it, it, that's, that's Gidget. She thinks we really need this refrigerator. It was her mother's and her mother needed a bigger refrigerator. So this is the top and bottom kind, but her mother bought the side-by-side -side kind, which I want the top and bottom. I need more refrigerator than right. freezer. So it sounds like it's gonna work out perfect. All right, I'm up here at the roadside stand and our stuff is selling like crazy. So we put some of our coffee out here and you can see the eggs are all sold out. My, my chickens are not laying as fast as the eggs are selling. I can't buy any chickens yet or chicks with anticipation of needing more eggs simply because all of my Easter eggers are not laying yet. Eggs are selling like crazy. Tomatoes are selling wonderfully. We haven't had the coffee out here long, but it has sold. So um, everything's going well. But before I go out and splurge on more chicks, to lay more eggs to make more money for the farm stand i need to wait and see how many eggs how many more eggs i'm gonna get once my easter eggers all start laying because right now i don't know who's laying and who's not i have seen that one little beautiful green egg so i know that she's a new layer because it's very small I'm gonna grab one of these uh, baskets that we put our produce in, meaning tomatoes for the most part, and I'm gonna go collect eggs and, and see what I've got. And I've also gotta go count my money. Hey, beautiful girls and Mac and Cheese. How are y'all doing this morning? Everybody enjoying the green grass and Beautiful sunshine. I'm gonna go see if y'all are have earned your keep. Okay, so if y'all notice, I have a new nesting box, and there's a reason behind that. I was coming in here to find silkies. That's a Rhode Island. We moved. Well, there's no. What is she? Sorry, girl. I didn't mean to invade your privacy. She's a bantam of some sort. But we moved pretty much all of our chickens except for Cordy 
and redneck and uh, the Seabrights over here. And what, I, what was happening was these silkies that I moved over here, which is not but a couple, we only have a couple of three, were um, wanting to, to, to sit on my eggs and I couldn't have that. So we got this new nesting box that allows the eggs to roll out. Y'all look how pretty, I don't know how many I got, but it looks like it may be a dozen. I think it may be a dozen, but we'll count them when I get back home. I couldn't have um, hens sitting on my eggs. And we only have one rooster that we know of in here, but still, I, I do not want hens sitting on eggs in the nesting boxes. That's just, it, this is not a broody coop. It's not supposed to be anyway. Let me see if I can find a silky. So there's one of the silkies, that's April. You see her under the stairs there? See if I can't point her out. She's right there. That's April. Um, there's a couple of more. You'll see those two. Silkies are just broody chickens. And once we moved those girls over here, they immediately started plopping down on my eggs. Not so much these other girls, but the silkies. So the rollout nesting box has kept the eggs very clean and it's kept my girls from sitting on them. Okay, y'all, uh, so um, this cash comes to $141. I'm fixing to check the Venmo and see what I have there. So I have one $8 Venmo payment and two $4 Venmo payments. So that makes $16. So if my math's correct, 141 plus 16 is 157 dollars my refrigerator is 150 so guess what this means we can go get it but i do want to pick some more tomatoes and put them out at the stand because it's almost empty and i gotta get these eggs in a carton also and get those up to the stand and for for those of you that haven't seen what we do to our eggs we just have a stamp that says Coghill farm and Stamp the cartons, put the eggs in. Are there, is there gonna be a dozen? Cause I don't think we counted them. All right, dead on a dozen eggs. So I'm gonna go put the eggs in the stand and then go pick some tomatoes Put those in the stand and head out to go get this refrigerator. Okay, so I got my reinforcement out here. He's going to help me pick some of these beautiful tomatoes. You can see all the sea of red that we have here. And get some put out to the stand so these wonderful people can continue to have fresh tomatoes. All right, I think, I th I think it's safe to say we're going to be able to fill the stand back up today. I what think, do you think? I think so. All right, don't don't dance or anything, cause <laughs> if I do, I'm gonna pull my back out. It, well, I'm more worried about the tomatoes falling Ooh. on the ground, Jason. <laughs> All right. So what we normally do is just take them home, wipe them off, make sure they're blemish free, and separate them into groups of five, in which we place at the stand in small baskets that our customers leave and take a plastic bag to take with them instead of taking our baskets. Okay, so I had one dozen eggs that I had cartoned the day before, and I'm about to put two dozen eggs in here. They won't last long, but you know, there's nothing I can do to make the chickens lay faster, unfortunately. So Jason's uh, adding some of the tomatoes we just picked to the baskets. Um, I said we try to do five in a basket, and five is five dollars. If we see that they're really small, we add a couple more to it, but we have not had any problems with people not being honest. Uh, everybody has left their money like they should, and these are the bags that I was telling you about earlier. We just got a little basket there that we put the put the bags in, and People leave our baskets and take the bags, take the tomatoes, and no, um, no problems here. 
So once we get this filled up, we're on our way to take our money that we've made at the stand and buy a refrigerator. <laughs> We also are thinking that we need to pick up some more baskets. And luckily, we have able to find these locally at Jones Feed and Seed here in Chilton County. They have these uh, little white baskets, and then they also sell those little green ones. So it's it's been, it's been nice for us to not have to order them, and they're reasonably priced, too. So instead of putting the refrigerator in the back of the truck and picking it up as high as we would need to, Jason and I are going to take the horse trailer that we have um and just pull it because it's literally less than a foot off the ground so we can uh, load the refrigerator up easily and not have to worry about lifting it up so high yeah it's just a that's just a little short distance between the ground versus the pickup truck which is i don't know four foot tall <laughs> pretty tall well i got to thinking i don't know how far it is from this person's house to the driveway and I sure don't want to be toting the refrigerator that far so me and my boys here are gonna take a walk down to the old barn Arlo's gonna talk about it and get a dolly that we've got just in case the distance were to be a little bit further than what we want to try to carry it maybe we'll see pink too he's trying to lead the way to Show me where this dolly is stored and here comes here comes little rocky well i shouldn't say little rocky big rocky he's gonna come too every time i take a trip down to the old barn i have company hey bandit is that where the dolly is go get it go get it for me buddy you can't do that okay guess who i found sweet little pinky I know, baby. So, you never know if she's gonna be in here or not, but just so happened that I heard a little squeaky meow. She doesn't let out a big meow. A little squeaky meow to let me know she's near. And y'all look at this. Somebody's waiting on me at the door. All right, boys. We gotta take the dolly back home. Cause we are trading eggs and tomatoes for a refrigerator. Does that sound wonderful? I should have, I should have hooked this dolly up to these boys. Let them pull it up this hill. As, as if they don't get enough exercise in the day. It's a trek going up this hill. Come on boys. Oh, there's the fridge. All right. Well, we got, got it. it loaded. Got it loaded. Got it loaded, and it is just what I wanted. I wanted a black refrigerator because I didn't want it to stand out. So I felt like white would stick out. So, and it just so happened to be what I came across too. So it's a win-win, and we're headed home. Okay, y'all. So we just came through the gate, and. We saw that Gus's surprise had arrived, so Jason hopped out to, to get it. And I literally drove off and left him because I was so excited about getting the refrigerator to the barn that I left him at the gate and kept driving. He thought I need some exercise. Well, no, I'm, I'm really excited about getting this fridge going. All right, here she is. And I don't mean Jason. It's really nice and shiny and you just wait. It's beautiful. All right, so we got it in the barn. It, as you can see, it's very clean, very spacious. It's just what we needed. And I don't want to put it in the milking room yet because I've got to do some cleaning. So for now, it can just stay inside in a safe location until we get it finished. Our hard work from the farm stand has definitely paid off. Uh, selling the eggs and tomatoes. We didn't know how it was gonna go, but we were willing to give it a shot. And look what we got in return. A nice refrigerator to put in the milk room. 
that not only milk can be stored in, but also produce for freeze drying. I mean, maybe some ice cream. Eggs too. What about eggs? You can even put some eggs I in could. there. Good. When, when <laughs> my girls start overflowing with yeah. eggs and I need somewhere to store them, I no longer have to put them in my house refrigerator. Mm -hmm. I can just bring them straight to the barn and put them in this refrigerator. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I would like to say, please give us a thumbs up, a comment, a like, a share. It would mean the world to us. And I appreciate it, each and every one of you. Thank you.